What do industry professionals think to the Chancellor's green recovery measures? The Chancellor has announced a recovery plan to stimulate the economy, including a green homes grant and funding to improve the energy efficiency of public sector buildings. Here's the industry reaction to the plans. In response to the economic update, Chris Venables, Head of Politics at Green Alliance, says this must be the first step of a longer term plan. He states, the Chancellor's speech could mark a really positive first step on the green recovery, but only if this ambition is continued throughout the rest of the year and particularly in the autumn budget. We urgently need to see a clear funding strategy for supporting public transport in its time of crisis, a long-term strategy to ensure all buildings are warm and cheap to run, reversing the catastrophic declines in nature and investing in the technology of the future. Richard Hyams, founder of A Studio, added that the government's pledge of a £3 billion green investment package to decarbonise public buildings and minimise emissions from homes is a welcome step, but asserts that a change in thinking is needed. He comments, Buildings and construction together account for over a third of global energy use and nearly 40% of all CO2 emissions in the UK. To ensure a green and socially responsible recovery from this pandemic, we need to fundamentally change how we look at these buildings. We think of buildings as absorbers of energy, but they should become generators. Kirk Taylor, Head of Development at Kojima Partnerships, stresses that we need to go further within construction to meet the net zero carbon emissions goals for 2050. He states, in addition to improving energy efficiency of buildings themselves, we must turn to more sustainable construction methods. Off-site modular construction is one such solution that we must now seize with both hands. Modular construction can deliver high-quality classrooms, precision-engineered operating theatres, hospital wards and community care facilities affordably, sustainably, safely, at pace. Prajumna Pandit, MD for Sustainability and Energy Services at MITEI, highlights the need to encourage the private sector to prioritise green initiatives. He comments, with around 65% of the commercial building stocks that will be used in 2060 already built, if the UK is going to meet its net zero emissions targets, the government needs to encourage the private sector to make green investments too. As companies begin to get back to business, now is the time to ensure that green thinking is leading the UK's economic recovery. Our Environment and Sustainability section offers further advice on green initiatives. Read more at twinfm.com.